Now it's the 4th of July. Now they activated CERN on the 1st of July. You know what that means? We already had three days of building up to this day, which is a powerful, I would say it's a, hmm, it's a very potent energy source because it contains multiple elements, fire, earth, wind, water. That's what the four is. Notice the four numbers. Numbers explains what's going out in the cosmos. That's why numbers govern our world. So whenever a number appears, it's because something's going on in the cosmos. It's completely designed that way. So that's that why all these holidays, they've been designed around, um, you know, the dates in the calendar year. You feel me? It's actually more about the energies that's going on and that's transporting throughout the cosmos is moving around and orbiting around us. That is why that is how they came up with the calendar to begin with. So certain days of the month tell them when certain planets are in our orbit or when certain energies are prominent. That is what it tells them. And then that's when they know to go do what they're going to go do. Hence why we see a bunch of, you know, unexpected deaths on the news. We see people protest and we see them focus heavily on fear. This is designed intentionally. And that is why you also see comments. And these videos that question you, oh, this could be true or untrue. And oh, that, well, follow your gut. Don't listen to me. Follow or listen to that inner voice inside of you instead. Because that voice is talking. It's that quiet, subtle voice. Not the one that's always here. Ah, ah, ah. No, that's the devil. That is more de that's more parasitic entities trying to take over your mind to control your conscious thing. So that way they keep you in the lower back to keep you from deterring to doing your path. Meaning that it doesn't want you to step on your path. It wants you to stay in a lower paradigm. That's what people are calling to themselves today. <clears throat> I guarantee the ones that do not focus on higher vibrational things today, I guarantee the chances of them surviving this whole mess is last year and a half. I think I think it lowers by the day. I'm just being honest. It dwindles smaller and smaller. It's now a narrow and narrow window. And I don't know, that's just some call it a gut instinct. I just say, huh, first thing that comes out your mouth is usually right. It is what it is. So y'all keep your actions high. I keep telling y'all, keep your intentions pure. Keep your mind focused on the goal. Don't fall. But like people in what order intentions do not bite the bait. They want you to bite the bait. Do not bite any of the bait at all. That is what the uh, importance of today. And I would say the next couple days, because yesterday, I mean, tomorrow is a very powerful day too. Five, five is a, it's similar to four, but except you have your spirit now aiding you in this energy today. So think of it. All four elements, right? Earth, fire, wind, water, which is everything potent, which is your soul is fire, the earth, and your skin is, you know, um, um, ground, earth. You know what I'm saying? So this is earth. Your uh, your breath is wind. Your water is your blood, which is H3O2, but it's a liquid substance. So it still acts as a form of water-based substance. So earth, wind, water, fire. And do you know what the other six sense is? Your mitochondria, spirit. That is five senses and that day is tomorrow. So these days leading on to this, it's just getting more powerful and powerful and powerful. That is why so much stuff is going on right now. That's why people are coming out the way. Look, y'all notice that people, pe people changing their MO. People ain't normally like that, giving out spiritual shit. People ain't trying to do that, but you notice they're changing their MO, right? You feel me? Because they understand. Now it's like, okay, this is the time for this. I need to leave people with you. I need to get people on my team. And then I need to, yeah, that's the new predator. I'm telling you, the new bully is they're trying to get, they're trying to recruit, build up a squad. You feel me? They, you know what I'm saying? And cease that shit. Yeah, that is how it is. I'm telling you, because this is the trending stat right now. You know why? Because, you know, not everyone, but a, a portion of people that's been putting in the work for years is waking up. And it takes those years. I'm still putting in the work. Every day must be work more and more and more. And the more work you do, guess what? The more work you got to still do. It does not lighten your load. It only gets bigger. So the more work you do, the more your load increases. You guys understand that, right? So just prepare yourself. If you if the, if you seek this kind of journey, which you're watching this video, chances are you do. Just know your load only increases. 
I know. It only increases. So just expect to do more work. So now you got more attacks. Now you got more mental trying to get in your garbage. Now you got more training and more releasing blockages and dealing with karmatic and 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 cutting soul ties and you know denouncing etheric cords and motherfucking mental and last and past cognitive karmatic shit that's still in your head that you're thinking about. All that shit happening right now. So that's why I'm saying that. You cannot, you cannot listen to me. You cannot do, you, you, you cannot endure any more mess, any more karmatic debt. You got to release all that other garbage. You feel me? So they're trying to put more karmatic debt on you. That way they grab a portion, another portion of the population and cease them from existing. Right? So it's like, okay, 10 to 15% got that, you know? And then now they're trying to grab some more people with these thoughts, with this, with this energy. It's a mental warfare. That's what this is. Because these frequ these EMPs, not even frequencies, EMP pulse, net pulse waves that's being shot out to try to attack your mental, to try to put you on a lower state through shit, through motherfucking weaponry, yeah. Because it's trying to get, put falsified information in your head by you overanalyzing shit that you know by God and source is taken care of, but it's trying to... Put it in your head so it can like lower your frequency. And I and I feel like that's messed up. When a motherfucker trying to lower your frequency, you know, food wise, mental wise, and external wise, man, come on, we should all become that much aware to where we can unify together enough so we can have our own sustainable resources so that way we don't have to worry about outside influences trying to you know, interfere with that when they see our vibration high enough. Because where was all this shit a couple years ago? It wasn't. I'm telling y'all, it wasn't because the frequencies wasn't time yet. They didn't only have a, a year left. They Man, they probably got like six months left. Because I feel like it's speeding up faster and faster. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm going to keep... Um, if you are releasing mucus right now, if you are like spitting up, that means you are lightening your etheric body. It's a good thing. So people just throw a shade, they throw a shade because it's not happening to them. And that's cool. If you're constantly spitting up stuff, it's good. That means you are lightening your frequency and you are rising in frequency, vibration. Because the dense, the mucus, the acidity is coming out of you. And guess what happens? You are rising up, okay? That is what that means. So if you're not spitting up, you need to be spitting up. Now that's the trend. I don't know who or what, but they need to get you in on that. That is the trend to be spitting up shit right now. You want to spit up shit all the time. All right, look, uh, I'll say go on, duck, duck, go and look it up if you can find it. I'll find an article or some shit like that on it. And I'll, man, I'll give it to y'all. I'll read a whole video on that for y'all. Just like this video, comment down below about how you want to hear me talk about like how spitting up and that shit, it actually makes you healthier. I know people are like, oh man, that's gross. And how dare you? I, I didn't even read it. I, you know, I skimmed it for a second and I just doop, delete it real fast because they don't understand anything that's beneficial for me. Another person outside of me cannot ask me to do. You guys can either watch it, see the information or not take it. It's completely up to you. But I'm telling you, whenever you spit up, that actually flushes out what? Inflammation, mucus, uh, parasites. Yeah. If you're wondering why your thoughts are weird and you're depressed or something, you probably, well, no, 99% chance you have parasites. Yes. And CERN just enhances that. CERN makes it more worse, which is why you are feeling more intense anxiety. Hell, your family, a lot of people, your friends. You notice it, don't you? I know you notice it because you're watching this video. And you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't notice it. You'd be probably watching the game. So, you're watching this because you notice things like that. You're starting to pick up key signals. God, the universe is talking to you. You know when it talks to you, right? I mean, it chooses you. That means it seeks in you. It needs you. You have a path. So, with that being said, yes, spitting up is very good for you. I'm going to do a whole video on that about how it releases. It eases your body's ascension. It That means your kundalini is going up and down your chakras. When you're spitting up and releasing inflammation, your chakras, the energy is surging up. Your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, your, uh, what's it called? Your throat, your heart, your third eye, 
your crown. Yeah, I got all seven of them. Yes. But you feel me? There's more, but you have to get those on force first. And then others, and then the other ones will appear. It's just stage after stage. Like when you level up in the RPG, you get a certain amount of levels, right? It's the basic. Once you unlock those, more come, more come. So start unlocking these basics right now. This is a whole new, like, this is a whole new energy. This is about to activate anything that's dormant, anything that's in your ancestral bloodline, anything that's in you right now, it's coming out. It's turning on, now's the time. Its energy source is being orbited, is being basically drawn in our atmosphere for a reason. God is putting it here. God is doing a bunch of shit right now. God is, man, God is great. Man, I didn't even, I slept on God for a hot minute. God meaning energy. I'm talking about source, that consciousness. I'm not specifying no deity that's trying to idealize as God. I don't identify, let's say, uh, falsified versions that's trying to claim as God to seek power and to, you know, feed off of. I'm not saying that. Those are deities. I ain't even going to ruin that for y'all because people are going to be pissed and mad. But those are demons trying to idealize as God so that way he can have people worship so it can still be relevant in this realm. I know, right? It sucks. But it's what it is. I don't want to tell people. People typically get mad when you tell them the truth. So I don't really like to tell people. But that's what it is. So God to me is all knowing, all seeing, all govern, all all loving. I'm gonna just leave it at that. You feel me? You know God, right? God is that still loves you, doesn't judge you. You feel me? That's God. No matter how you felt in the past about God, because you didn't understand, it's not affecting you to this day. God's not judging you. Because you didn't find God back then. You found God when you were meant to find God. Because that is when you acquired the information and you were ready to. That is what God is. Because God don't judge. God is neutral. That is God. If a God is picking a side, then that should tell you enough information right then and there. Ooh. If God is choosing a side, then that should tell you information right then and there. God has a side of preference. But God does not choose a side. God is neutral. God stands in the middle. It does not, it doesn't do that. Okay? I know, right? You're like, oh shit, that makes sense. Yeah, I know. So you feel me? God may have, but God, because God created everything. Because God operates in both forms. Okay? This is what you guys are saying. So think of it like this. God put all this mumbo jumbo motherfucking shit here just to, to wake you up. I know, just to wake you up. God put all this traffic in and all this shit. This, oh, it's horrible in the and the and the world, you know, just to wake you up because God cares that much. If you watching this video, you healthy. That means God wanted you to be here to wake you up. If you're not here, that means you weren't supposed to be here. It wasn't it wasn't meant for you? But you're here right now in this moment. That means God wanted you here. God wanted to wake you up. That means you are worthy. I know. I know. It's crazy when you think about it like that, huh? Yes, you are worthy. Yeah. So, when you understand that, that means God has been governing your life, you're in, has been anointing you and watching you and governing you your entire life. You've been always walking with faith with God. Just, you didn't know. You didn't know. So even right now, with this whole CERN thing, walk with faith. This is just a boost little period. You know what this is going to do to your DEA? This is going to shoot you 10 times. I'm guessing 10 to 100 times. This last little six months, it's going to rise you in frequency faster than it would have if this if they weren't doing that. Because it's pushing you through your dark night of your soul. It's not giving you an option. They think they're hurting you. All you got to do is endure it and trust God. That's it. That's all you got to do. You don't got to do nothing else. And stay out of a low frequency as much as possible. I mean, you can't drink alcohol. No, you can't do drugs. I just assumed people didn't do drugs anyway, but I didn't know I had to reiterate, regurgitate that. So yeah, no, you can't do drugs either, okay? No, you can't consume dense and dead foods. Yeah, if you're consuming dense and dead foods, that's why you're not releasing, you know, mucus. See me, I fast like 99.999% of the time. Like I'm fasting today. I didn't say I was doing a, a, a complete dry fast. I just said I was doing a water fast or just a fast where I don't eat solid food. I don't go to the store and buy solid foods. 
until I get paid. You know what I'm saying? So that's how, you know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta be. Now that fast allows parasites and lower forms of, I would say, debris. Cause there's debris that attaches on you throughout your day, people touching you, people coming in your auric field, people trying to drain you through emotional, I would say leakages, <laughs> meaning if you get into an argument or if they're trying to make you upset or they're trying to belittle you in any way or get any type of emotion out of you, then this is what that does. So if they try to say, ah, uh, 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 over nothing, over something that is nothing, that means they're trying to cause uh, what's it called? Karmatic debris. They were trying to put leakages in your ore field so that way, yeah, you you won't flow right. You won't, you won't, you won't, your ore won't, uh, what's it called? Vibrate at the right frequency. That's what it's about. So that's why you notice like people be trying to, you know, just you ever notice that a person would try to like start something with you for nothing because they're trying to drain you. It's called exchange of energy. And then you notice after that you feel feel depressed and mad or sleepy and shit. Duh, your body's telling you what they did. It's just that your mind couldn't perceive it. It wouldn't believe it. I know. That's why under all circumstances, you do not, well, refrain from getting emotional upset. Refrain from it. Know for what people do for when they do it. After you don't get upset, you're just like, oh, love. You, you know what it is. You just, love. You don't care. It doesn't bother you because you already know that that person is trying to suck from your ore field. They're trying to cause emo uh, emotional leakage. And then that leaves you feeling drained and depressed when you leave. Mm -mm. No one should be, no one should have that power over you. Nobody, not even you. Not even you should call that to you or have that power over you. Cause there'd be times where you don't feel in the best vibration. So you will literally hurt yourself more than anybody else would because you are the only one that could hurt yourself. I know. They didn't tell you that, did they? I know they didn't. They wouldn't, you feel me? I'm just saying like, people are not gonna tell you what's best for you because they don't want you to be at your best capability. That's why right now, you notice, oh man, be fearful, oh man, oh. Like they want you to stay in that lower frequency. That's why you cannot attain that, you cannot entertain. Do not entertain that under all circumstances. There's a bunch of shit that's about to come. Like in Ghostbusters, you remember Ghostbusters, right? Yeah, that's about to happen here too. They've been releasing a bunch of stuff. And guess what? By you lowering down to the frequency, you give your permission to agree, agree to that. Yeah, they need your permission. Everything they do, they have to get your permission. They have to, if you don't give your authority, then they can't do it. You notice that, right? Next time, try this little test. Next time someone try to take your authority, just say, I denounce, I denounce. Just denounce it. Don't give them your authority. You ain't got to say it out loud. Just say it in your mind, right? Don't give them your authority. I guarantee you'll notice where uh, uh, a situation where the uh, where it'll turn out, where like, you know what I'm saying? It'll work, it'll, 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 it'll work out in the external. You'll notice it. Just don't give your authority and leave it at that. Do not go, do not go into it. Do not check on it again. Do not do none of that shit. Just leave it at that and just be done with it. I guarantee you're going to notice the difference. I guarantee you ain't got to, you ain't got to like, just tell me in the comment section what you see with that. And see, and they understand that. That's where they have to keep you distracted. They have to keep your mind mentally weak. They have to think you, they have to keep you indoctrinated in something. See, the truth about God is something else. Like, I only was deterred because I thought, oh, all this bad shit, it didn't make sense to me. But now that I know the truth, now I'm all poor guy. What you mean? I love to be a God. Man, God's my nigga. God is my nigga. You feel me? Because God is that nigga. God, God looks out for me every day of day. God got my back. God don't talk shit. God loves me. You know, God was the reason why I was able to eat two days ago. Do you know that? God will set you up. God was like, look, I need you to fast for these 48 hours, but after that, I got you. See, that is God when you look at it. God will do all for all and provide for all at the same time. See, when you when you really know God, God don't have stipulations, all right? That's how you know it's not God. These motherfuckers. 
if something sounds too good to be true, if it sounds like it got a lot of stipulations, chances are you need to be looking a little deeper. That's all I'm going to say. You believe in what you want to believe, ain't no shade for me, but true God, God don't have stipulations. God doesn't have required, oh, uh, I would say, yeah, God has requirements, but God don't have stipulations. God is not finna judge you. God don't, God is not a overbearing voice. God does not overwhelm you. God does not make you depressed or make you feel like entitled. God gives you the option and then sits back and let you enact your own free will in a subtle way. So if that is not what is coming uh, or appearing to come across as, then obviously it, it's that motherfucker. Didn't they say, didn't, didn't they warn you in the Bible that there's a bunch of motherfuckers that's trying to mimic God? Didn't they say that? Niggas then forgot that though. They were like, man, Jesus, this pastor, Poseidon, uh, Philip 114, 365. He said, God, Philip was a smart, wise man. I said, why was Philip wise? Because it said Philip was wise. I was like, no. Ah! You feel me? So, you pay attention to some, not all. I see, I see, I see, and that's good. I mean, you know, whatever. But God is not gonna do none of that. God is very subtle. It does not. It's it's gonna tell you real shit. It's not gonna leave you astray. Yeah, Philip was a who the fuck is Philip? I don't know nobody named Philip. Do you know someone that was like what the fuck Philip I do with me anyway? Man, we had the first question. So, what's the meaning of life? You see, Philip was. A wise man and Philip walked down the river and he sang with the bird. What the fuck does Philip gotta do with me? I'm gonna shit. I wanna know about me. Damn. That's why I talk about y'all, cause I wanna know about me. Just the same thing y'all wanna know about y'all. I wanna hear about no damn Philip or Jacob or Hasamla or K. I don't wanna hear that shit. What kind of shit is that all I wanna hear is about me. Alright, that's it. You feel me? And God. But me. But God. You feel me? Like all that other shit, like tell me the real shit. See, the Bible had a lot of magic. It had everything in it. It had the real stuff, but they had to take it out and then they just started around. Okay, 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 let's improv. <sighs> Philip was a nice man. Philip was a wise man. Philip was a whole man. See, this man, that <laughs> was the kind of shit. They just really just got around the table and just started riding. Like, see, there was a man named Philip. Philip the man <laughs> was wise. Philip, Philip. He knew that he must learn and then school himself so that way he can be an influence because he grew up from a poverty. What kind of shit is that? It's like they just wrote it in the play. Look, I took acting. I took theater class. All right, it was fun before they kicked me out a bunch of times, but it was fun. For some reason I noticed I always get kicked. Like, damn, finally when I like, like somewhere. Finally when I like something in high school, it's like, what the shit? But yes, I'm getting healthy. Yes. Had the nerd, man. Tell me what to do in my fast forward thing. Fast forward the motherfucker. Man, how the nerd tell me what I can't can't do on my cat. Like, man, it may be goodwill type camera, but it's still my camera. Hell, it ain't even good at goodwill. But it may be almost goodwill type, but it's still my camera. So, you know, like, I wanna hear about me. I don't worry about no damn fella. Because they wanted to deter you from the truth, but there's a lot of truth in it. You just gotta be able to decipher it. So that's why I fuck with those people that have been doing this year work five, ten plus years, because I say those are the only valid ones that I will, will be more enticed to listen to. Because anyone else, um, they gotta do the work. You know, but yeah, yo, this is about to be a powerful time. That's why these videos are so needed. I don't understand. If you have, if you can channel if you can quiet your like your ego mind and just receive information and just start doing videos start doing video. i guarantee downloads because everybody receives there's so much there's so much information so god's gonna use multiple individuals to get the message across because there's different ways different different uh, different abilities that can allow others to regurgitate the information because not everybody could just sit and read a book. Not everybody could just 
read it and acquire it. You have to break it down. You have to put it in a way that they can understand. You feel me? I learned that it's all about understanding. If I can understand this, then I'm great. Again, if I can understand that, that makes the difference between have and not have. Understanding. So simple. Understanding is the difference between have and not have. Simple. So if you don't have something, that's because you don't understand it yet. You need to understand it in order to have something. You feel me? That's how I just, I just break it down and use, you know, simpleton. <laughs> nah, but I'm telling y'all, yo, you, 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 you feel me? So if something wasn't working before, switch it up. Do a 180. And I guarantee you're going to see massive difference. You know what I'm saying? You cannot. There ain't no other way to see a change in it because you're applying different. That's the laws of the universe. When you, when you give something action, you get a reaction. If this action got that reaction, which is one you didn't desire, switch it up to get a different reaction. And I guarantee you, you're going to get the reaction you want. You just got to do it long enough for it to happen. Everything happens. So, all right. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. I'm saying, so CERN has activated three days ago. It's going to try to fuck with your thoughts. It's going to try, I said, fuck with effect and fuck at the same time. But it's going to try to get in your head and just bring out things that are not true. You just need to be mindful and have awareness. Discern everything around you. Have discernment for all things because the devil uses many different forms to try to, uh, you know, deceive you in its way. And don't get deceived now because this shit, this game about to start. Like the squid, no, I'm just kidding. No, nah, not the squid game. But y'all know me, the game is starting. It's, it just hit a climax. So y'all going to see some awesome events take place now. And for those who's like, oh, man, what if nothing happens? And it wasn't meant for you. Nothing was supposed to happen for you. What do you want me to do? I don't know what to say. You want, you know, you want some, you want, <laughs> shit, I don't got no cookies. But hey, hey, what you want me to do? Shit. You feel me? But for those who experience shit, oh, don't talk. Just keep your mouth shut. Don't talk. You feel me? We're not, we're not supposed to talk, share everything. You're supposed to help people, but you're not supposed to tell, yo, you're not supposed to share your personal. That's the thing. You don't do that. So don't share your own personal. Just try to help people in the best way, whereas you don't put yourself in the middle of things. You feel me? Make yourself vulnerable. Because then how can you share something that is happening for you, but it hasn't already occurred for two years plus? You, you you tell those people after it's already been going on for two years. Then you share that information. If it ain't been going on for two years, you're going to jinx it. I know. So, all right, so I'm about to wrap this video. Y'all stay tuned for more videos like that. Where that came from, I'm KT. I'm out.